Flight boss, bitch, you know, for sure. You're now listening to the mind of an Antares Moon. I'm the Archangel Uriel, and I'm here to carry out God duties and motherfucking responsibilities. And I want to dive into a little deeper, just in case that, you know, I just put out a, a little just video from my, um, from my phone. I did a, a few videos from my phone, and I'm going to be uploading them. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, the first, the first little video was about, uh, my parents should understand astrology and just that a third. This this video right here is gonna be uh about basically, you know what I'm saying, comparing everything in its existence to the universal construct of uh the sequence of threes, but I'm just bringing it to left brain terms when you want to talk about uh, things how the universe was made you, they, scientists like you can't refute me right when scientists say the universe was made with solid liquid it's made out of solid liquid and gas of a constant state so um, so when I want to I'm going to bring this into zodiac terms now because you can bring this fair reality into all terms so in zodiac terms and in, into astrology I want you to, I want you to have this concept in your head now if you just if you just realizing that you are um, if, that you are a cardinal, mutable, or um, fixed sign, then I want you to relate it to this. If you are cardinal, I want you to look up the definition of gas. If you are uh, if you are fixed sign, I want you to look up the definition of solid. If you are um, if you are a, a mutable, I want you to look up the definition of fluid. Now, in case you you may need a little bit of help. To go a little higher, because I, I I noticed the little perception of confusions that people can have who are into astrology. You could look at it and you could be like, "Well, Dolo, I'm a fire sign," or "Well, Dolo, I'm an air sign," and I and I just well, or "Dolo, I'm a water sign," and I just typed in, "I'm a I'm a cardinal water sign," but I just typed in, "What do uh what do cardinal? I mean, what do gas mean?" Like you told me, if I relate it to cardinal, and it says an air like or fluid like something that that's expands freely within space, and see. I'm going, to exp I'm going to expand your realm of reality a little higher so you can kind of understand what I mean by this. Now, these basic constructs of solid, liquid, I mean solid, fluid, because liquid is a form that comes from fluid, but liquid is not fluid. Fluid is the essence from where liquid derives from. So before we even get into this, I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to break it down for you. Now, when we want to talk about your element as look at it as dimensions as realm of reality well now so when I say solid fluid or gas think of it as okay that's up here in this realm of reality right so when I start to talk about astrology and now I'm about to compare it think about it like okay astrology and how I'm about to compare it is down is, is lower on the pyramid scale it's a lower consciousness It's down here on this reality so this is a way how you can tie something that do the same thing but be able to separate it to explain the, the difference between the two but how they can be the same thing because we know fire is not air like or gas like how cardinal man initiate but like I said separate the realms of realities this realm of reality that when I say solid liquid and, I mean solid fluid and gas is a higher reality then now we're going to compare a lower reality to it, which is astrology. All right, now, so when I say cardinal is gas, um, now you can say that this, you can separate it now. So I don't care what cardinal you are, fire, water, air, or earth, whatever cardinal sign it is, is going to act like the cardinality of that element, right? And if I say cardinal represents gas, then once you look at what gas definition is then relate that to your element so that means your element is the gas like portion of that element if you are a fixed sign your whatever fixed sign you are whatever element it is it is the solid essence of that element then whatever and then whatever mutable sign you are that's the fluid essence of that element so let me break it down into astrology for all you astrologers can understand it. When you tell somebody their cardinal sign, what do you say? You say they initiate, right? They initiate. They create newness. They issue in. They bring. They they bring in. So we know if you look up the definition of gas, it's a air or fluid like something that able to expand freely within space so we know that's a form of initiating right there 
it does freely. So whatever element you are, if you are uh, Aries, you are cardinal fire. So we know your fire is the essence of fire. So all Aries are are fire signs, but the cardinal fire signs, the gaslight, they're the fire before you see the fire. They're the essence of the fire. Just because you see fire in this realm of reality on earth, that's because just how I relate to here, but fire doesn't actually look like that. It doesn't have a look. It's just an essence. You know what I'm saying? So the fire, Aries, all Aries are the essence of this fire. You get what I'm saying? So this is why they spark, they initiate. This is why they have an energy. This is why your car ain't going to drive unless you put gas in it. Because that's a form of a car needing energy. Need some type of source. What is fire? A source. Of, this is why Aries are inspirational. This is why Aries are energetic. You know what I'm saying? Then you want to get to the solid portion. Fixed. Fixed fire. That's Leo. So we know fixed means in astrology being fixated on its own. Well, in this case, fire represents the filler and the seer. So... The, the, the solid quality of fixed, when you look up solid, what is solid? Being, um, um, being in, so, in, in one, whatever the definition is, you look it up. And I'm going to break it, break it down to you right now. The, okay, the fire portion of it. So Leo must be the representation of when you actually see fire. Now that you see fire, that's Leo. Because we know that Aries is the cardinal. So if that's gas, we know that's the initiation. That's before you flick the lighter. We know it's a fire that exists, but you ain't flick it yet. It has to spark that initiation. Flick, that's like flicking a lighter before you see it. Now, once you flick it, then you see the lighter. You see the light. That's Leo. So what does Leos represent on Earth? They like to be seen. They like to be expressive. They like to dance like the fire. They like to be a fluid. They're the center of attention because wherever there's light at, it brings attention to. If you're in a dark room, you can't see nothing. If you turn on the light, now you can see shit. That's a form of bringing attention to, to something. So this is why Leo's like attention. You know what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? It's a fixated, it's the fixed light. Now you see the fire. It's the fixed fire. You see it now. It's like a campfire. You know what I'm saying? That's the solid. Because you, if you touch fire in this realm of reality, you get burnt. So that makes it physical now. See, a, see, Aries don't care about being center stage like that. They're going to do what they want to do, initiate their own trail of fire. That's why they don't care about being selfish, because they don't care about being alone. Leos aren't, aren't selfish in the way Aries are because they, they like be attention. And if you like getting attention, you can't necessarily be concerned with being selfish. Now, they can look selfish in the middle of getting attention to the point that they're getting all this attention. They start to be showboats. They start to embarrass other people in front of others because they're getting attention. But they know how to grab attention and grab crowds a little better than Aries. That's the difference because it's the fire that you can actually see. Yeah, Aries can inspire you all day about what you should do. So they're inspirational. But Leo's put it, put it into action. Is now you can see it. You can see them on stage. You can see them acting. You can see them entertaining. Boom! Let's get to the, the fluid, which is the mutable, which is Sagittarius. This is when the fire is ready to change. You, it, the fire is there. That's Aries. You see the fire now. That's fixed, Leo. And now the fire is getting ready to go up, go up and now go into fluid. Type in a definition of fluid. Now, mutable Sagittarius the, is the is the mutable is the fluid version of the fire. It, it changes. It relates. It expands. You know what I'm saying? It, it catches on to others, other fires. You know what I'm saying? Which is in this case, that's people' visions, how they see things, and how they feel. You know what I'm saying? They're able to relate. Relate. They're able to see things in a broad, in a broad sense. And since it's the fire element, it represents the essence of fire. So we know that's enlightenment. When you're in the dark, in, 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 a, in the dark of a situation, and somebody tell you about a situation, now you're enlightened about it. That's fire metaphysically. You know what I'm saying? So that's why Sagittarius is wisdom. Because it's fire, it's like a light for you. You know what I'm saying? Like if, if your lights ain't on in your house, and I come bring a flashlight, that, that's Sagittarius right there. Another light for someone else's help. You know what I'm saying? For someone else's darkness. This is why Sagittarius come across as teachers. See, this is the fluid version of the fire. Let's get to the let's get to the water. Water is self-explanatory. This is why they say it's the closest to God, and this is in this realm of reality right now. Because when you want to look at when you want to look at water, already water shows shows you in a physical form. See, that's what makes water powerful in this existence because it, it can show you all three realms of reality in one realm of reality. Just in the solid realm of reality, it can show you liquid, uh, solid, and gas. 
See, that's what makes water powerful. This is what makes all water signs intuitive in, in, a diff in different realms of reality. This is what makes all water signs deep. But when you want to separate it, let's talk about the cardinal. That's cancer. So the cancer water, uh, that's the gas like of the water, the essence of the water, before you can see water, before you can see it flow. So these people, this is why cancers may come across moody, because they initiate their own emotions and feelings. They create their own emotions and feelings. So when you come with yours, they feel like that's a way of stepping on toes. That's a way of messing up the mood, messing up the vibe. So they, they may catch another mood because they're not ready to be f stubborn about yours or be ready to relate to yours, like fluidly. They initiate their own. So it's the essence of water. That's just, so they have, they, they understand their own emotions. Then when you want to get to the fixed water, with, fi so, so regular water, that's water the way it is. That's cancer. Now, what uh, fixed water is Scorpio, so which is ice. This is ice, solid. We know fixed signs is solid. Look up the definition of solid. So Scorpio, this is why Scorpios hold gut grudges, because what is water? Water is your emotions and the feelings. And if it's solid, if it's fixated on one thing in one place, then if water represents emotions and feelings, it's going to be fixated on one emotion and feeling. So whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, or whether if it's hating you, they can hold that grudge. You know what I'm saying? These they, these people feel deeply, and they don't they don't show expression. They're more reserved and more conservative than the other two water signs. You know what I'm saying? And this is what makes Scorpios more stable and more willpower for their own intentions and desires. Because sometimes Scorpios they desire in this lifetime to be more fluid, to be more relatable. Sometimes they desire in this lifetime to create some type of newness, create some type of change out of their own funk. So this is why Scorpios in this lifetime always feel the need to transform. See, a solid, see, water is powerful on Earth. So even on Earth, it has a, a annotation of needing to transform as we see it. You can't just drink a ball of ice. You got to melt it. You, you need all these transformations. So water signs in general play that out on Earth. You feel me? So, so sometimes this is why Scorpios always feel the need to transform in their life situations. You know what I'm saying? Because you can compare it to ice. And ice is always needing to transform. It can't stay in one state. for, for It can't be used all the time in one state, but it can be used. Yeah, we can use it to make our drinks cold, but we can't use it to eat. So it need, we need that to transform so it can be fluid, so we can have something to drink. You get what I'm saying? When, when water, when it rain, we need the sun to come out so it can evaporate and do it again. We need these three changes. We see that on water just physically in, in one realm of reality. Water is powerful as hell. Then let's get to the mutable water, which is Pisces. Now, we let, this is the fluid of the water. And in astrology, how, you want to just, how do astrologers describe Pisces? Pisces, being relatable, being collective with the collective conscious. When you look at an ocean, you see an ocean flow. You see all the water together. You didn't go get no cup and take your cup and separate some water out of it. You, you left the whole ocean, let it flow again. That's the fluid of the water signs. Pisces, you know what I'm saying? So this is why Pisces are collective, co connected to people's emotions and people's uh, feelings because that's what water represents metaphysically. And if, it's, and if it's the fluid version of the water here on Earth, it has no choice but to play that out. See, we're talking about truth now. Let's go to Earth. Earth. Now, the essence of Earth, the Earth, the concept of structure itself is the gas-like of it, which is the cardinal, Capricorn. So Capricorn is the idea of something becoming a structure, whatever. This is why Capricorns like to play boss. They like to, they like to organize and structure the situation or whatever they in. Because they see it, they see it the way they see it, and they like to take the step-by-step -step practical cause in order for it to look organized and look right, in order to look available. So this is the idea. So this is why Capricorns have ideas for business, have ideas for money matters, have ideas for gaining structure in their life, have ideas for common sense and practicality. But when you see it, you only can see something when you take time to grow, right? So when you take time to grow, you water it or whatever like that to see the plant grow. It takes time. It takes, takes st stability, right? So let's move to the solid of the earths, which earth represents solid. Uh, energy in general, but when we break it down, time I break it down, it's still truth. Let the solid of the Earth is Taurus. Taurus is fixed Earth. So we know Earth represents the thinking and the practicality. So what does Taurus represent? This is why they say uh, Taurus is maybe slow paced or whatever like that, because you, you're seeing matter in existence now. 
You can't just go move a fucking building, can you? No. Because that's matter, that's fixed matter. That and it's solid. Solid is fixed. The fix of astrology is Taurus when we talk about Earth. And they play these characteristics out every day in their life. You know what I'm saying? They may be stubborn to the point that you can't budge them to think how you think. You can't budge them to change their idea about something. That's just like you going somewhere to try to, you talking to a tourist, I'm going to tell you, man, you might as well, you might as well go downtown at the Central, Central Town Park and go try to move the, the Empire State Building or something with your bare hands by yourself. Because that's basically what you're trying to do metaphysically. If, you ask, trying to, if your ass trying to convince a tourist to do something that you want them to do that they don't think make practical motherfucking sense. You feel me? Now, when you go to motherfucking immutable of the earth, let's get it, that's Virgo. So what we say mutable is, look up the definition of fluid. So we know the fluid of the rock is the melting of the rock. The, the rock being, uh, uh, being, so this is why Virgos are more, um, are more, not compassionate, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, 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 come, when two people can't agree on something, what's the, what the fucking word I'm looking uh, for? They, they're more agreeable, they're more, um. Uh, well, they're more relatable than the, the other two earth signs. You know what I'm saying? When uh, when people are able to compromise. That's the word I'm looking for. God damn, what the fuck is wrong with me? Compromise. You know what I'm saying? This is why Virgos are more compromising than Taurus and, uh, and, and, and fucking Capricorn. Because Capricorn is too busy trying to create some new type of shit. Taurus is too busy of you seeing it in existence of, of that time that Capricorn is doing. You seeing that in existence with Taurus. And Virgo is mutable to change. So this is like the melting of the rock or, or, the, or the, the rock being scattered, broken down into many pieces and being able to see many different shapes and perceptions and angles of that same rock. It's like that rock that was that thought to be a rock, that's Capricorn. Then when the rock is actually here, that's Taurus. Then when you break the rock down and start to dissect it and, and see the many shapes of it, that's Virgo. That's the mutable of the rock. This is why Virgos are into details. This is why Virgos like to analyze. This is, like, this is why Virgos are critical. Because that's basically what it's doing. It's the breaking down of the rock. So when you break down a rock, it's the same rock, but you're seeing many different shapes and sizes of it now. So Virgos, in this, they play that out in existence. They like to see many different ways of practicals and situations and analyzing of situations that they're in and situations that they experience with others, where they may feel like others fall short. They feel like they could be a liability other than the asset. That's what they're here to do. That's the fluid of the earth. You feel me? When earth moves. You feel me? When, when an earth moves, just think about um, earth itself moving in space. You know what I'm saying? Moving in one space to another. You know what I'm saying? That's more like Virgo light. You're able to see more different sides of reality, which is practical reality. You know what I'm saying? Let's not get too out of here. Let's, let's, let's keep... I understand how you can get out of here, but we're still in this. So for an example, you're a human. You still live on earth, but if you was to say you're part of the earth, you live in space. You know what I'm saying? So Virgos understand this concept a little better than Taurus and Capricorns. This is why Virgos can attach to a faith-based system better than uh, Taurus and Capricorns. Not to say Taurus and Capricorns can't. I'm just saying that the basic archetype of it. You know what I'm saying? Like a thin rock, like a meteor or something like that. You could catch those in space all day. But a heavy, a, a, a heavy something with dents, it's going to sink. And water is going to sink into the earth. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to float. Nothing. That's like Taurus. And the idea of something can do that, that's Capricorn. But see, you can actually see that with Virgo. See, this is why they, they can go a little higher in faith. -based. But that's another story. Let's go into motherfucking, um, um, motherfucking in the air. Last but not least, motherfucking air. Now, the, you, you might say, well, Dolo, air is already like guys like this. But see, all these elements come from this kind of sequence of uh, events. So, you know what I'm saying? When you want to look at air, the cardinal air is Libra. So, we know that's the gas of the air triplicity. The air, like the gas, like air, the initiation, the initiation. So, we know that it's already information. We already know that when you look at the definition of gas, it's like gas, like or, or fluid, like whatever, like substance that's free to expand in, in, in a space. You know what I'm saying? So that's initiation. It's, it's, it's freely of expand. So this is why Libras, when it comes to cardinal air in astrology, we know that's the thinking and the communication. And we know cardinal uh, create and initiate new, which in this case is gas. So Libras here, they initiate new conversation. 
This is like the, the, the gas light of the air. This is before you can breathe air, before you can see air. So Libra is more like space itself. Like with air suck, with all gas like air sucked out of it, it's space itself. Libra's is the space. So this is why in this archetype, in this lifetime, Libra's play out. It plays out like Libra's always need someone in their space. They always want, want to be accompanied by someone. They feel like they want to like to be in relationships. They like to relate. They like to communicate information. Because sometimes they feel like if they're if they're not able to communicate or information or communicate or relate to anybody, it's like a suffocation in their own space. See what I'm saying? I bet you Libras understand this a little deeper than I'm even trying to explain it. You know what I'm saying? I bet you Libras could get on my comment section right now and go all about what I'm talking about right now. You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the fixed air. This, this is Aquarius. This is the air already in its own space. So this is why Aquariuses may play out like they, don't, they might not give a fuck about what you think. They might not give a fuck about your information because they got their own way of gathering information. They got their own way of thinking. We know fix is being fixated on its own, and in this case, it's air. The thinking and the communication. So when you want to talk about air, like, like I said, the solid. this is the solid formation, triplicity of the air element. You know what I'm saying? So we know uh, this. We know this is why Aquarius is, is stubborn. You try to tell them what to do, they're gonna do this. You try to tell them to go to the store this way, they're gonna go to the store that way. You're gonna try to tell them to wear this, they're gonna wanna wear it like this. You know what I'm saying? And this is what makes them. And this this is what makes them have their own perception on what they're thinking. And and, and like when you like you wanna taste of that solid, they're in their own air, right? They're in their own circumference. They're in their own mind. This is what makes them unique. This is what makes them original. Because they're not fluid as in relating to other people's air, other people's information, gathering other people's information, and then trying to be the same and connect themselves with everybody else's air. No, this is like air in its own balloon. You know what I'm saying? Libra will be the balloon itself, and it needs somebody else's air in there. Aquarius is the air in the balloon. It's isolated. It's, it's, it's its own air. And then if you poke the balloon and pff, it just scatter, that's Gemini. But see, look, back to... This Aquarius is, is being the solid form of air. You know what I'm saying? So it's its own air. So it, it's like an air separated from all the other air. So this is what makes this is what makes you uh this Aquarius is play this out in existence. This is why they're unique. They stand out. They're original. You know what I'm saying? Because um, you know, it's like it's its own air. So look at a balloon. Like I, I just made that analogy. Balloon has air in it, but it's still surrounded by other air, but it's it's its own air. So, you know what I'm saying, take that in the form of astrology when we talk about communication and thinking and being fixed communication and thinking with the Aquarius. And this is how they play out that archetype. You know what I'm saying? Then let's get to the fluid of the air, which is Gemini. This is, this is the air everywhere. This is why Geminis can talk about any and anything without no meaning behind it, because it's there. Air scatters everywhere just in existence of, of Earth. See, air sometimes on Earth can't go above space, so this is why they can't rise above like fire signs spiritually. You know what I'm saying? They, they need to bring it back to the left brain, but they can understand it. They can put it in words better than fire signs. You see me? You see what I'm talking about? And air is an H2O also. They can, they can, they can put, the, put their feelings into words better than water signs. So water signs may express and be emotional and throw their emotional weight around at times, but Gem the Gemini, they may, they may know how to put their words better. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to Earth, air cover the surface of the Earth too. So air know how to practical, uh, know how to think about practical situations. Also, a lot of times they just may be care uh, careless because they be over the Earth. Like uh, air and air don't have time to be stuck in front of a tree or stuck in, uh, and have to move around. Air is all is all everywhere. So when you think about it like that, they, that's how they think about life situations. And when they talk when they talk to an Earth sign, and an Earth sign is trying to give them all this practical thinking, they're just down to communicating thinking. So this this why a lot of times Air signs, or especially Gemini's, they may agree with you about something that you write about, but they still don't do it in their own life. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like it's air, so they ain't they ain't got time to, to move around with whatever practicality thinking you put in. They just know how to communicate. So if they just want you to shut up. They might tell you what you want to hear just for the sake of you to shut up. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. So this would make air signs, especially Gemini's, sarcastic, manipulative. You know what I'm saying? Things like that. Putting things in the air. So this is like the fluid of the air portion. See what I'm saying? So if you ever want to know, you ain't even got to think about looking up an astrologer saying, okay, I'm a cardinal mutable or fixed. What, it, what do that mean? 
Just if you if you a cardinal, look up look up gas. Then whatever element you are, like fire, water, um, fire, water, um, earth, air, or even a cusp, lava, cloud, dust, um, lava, cloud, dust, and steam. 